Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you are having a fantastic day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Parker Nierenstein, and this is Vehicle Versions. I am out in beautiful Budapest with McLaren for the first ever drive of the McLaren 600 LT. Now this is gonna be a two part video series. The first part today is all about specking my 600 LT. As you guys know, I have in fact ordered one. So I wanna go over all the options of the car. Did I get a roof scoop? Did I get the center seats, the carbon options? And what color is it? Then after the embargo lifts, we can talk all about what it's like to drive. We have just arrived at the Hungaro ring with an amazing display. I'd say I'm shocked, but honestly, McLaren shocks me every time, so I'm unsurprised. However, I didn't think that I would be driving a McLaren P1 today. Well, it turns out I am. We've got a Senna over there, a 675 LT, as well as a 720S, and then a bunch of 600 LTs inside. We're about to do the briefing, learn all about the track, then go out in a 570S, and then drive the 600 LT. That whole driving impressions will be a separate video. This is all about the track, and mostly about the spec on my new car. But now apparently it's about driving P1s. I just realized the doors go up on this thing. All right, here we go, how do I? There we go. <laughs> I just realized the gravity of this situation. I have always wanted to drive a P1, and now I finally have. That, that is just so freaking cool. This is like the ultimate playground. I've almost forgot what I was here for because they got so many activities going on from the miniature P1s to look how beautiful the Senna is. Now I know still a lot of people don't like the way it looks, but those are the people who haven't seen it in person. This thing looks absolutely menacing. Now I understand the wing is not for everyone, but well, if you see the wing in person and understand how functional it truly is, it'll probably be for you. 675 LT in Napier Green, that is one of my favorite cars of all time. Now something really cool about the Senna in comparison to the 600 LT is that you can actually get a 600 LT with these exact seats. So these are the Senna bucket seats that are actually hollow shells of carbon fiber. This isn't fully thick carbon fiber, there's actually air in between to save weight. And it comes with just seven pads on the seat in order to save weight as well. Guys, so I have just driven the 600 LT for the first time and unfortunately, the impressions are under embargo until the day you will see the video, which is I believe the 26th, is that right guys? So that's when you'll talk about it, but I just wanted to ask you guys re really what, what you thought uh, about the 600 LT after driving it. Oh, yeah. Emily Ratajkowski. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 what, what did you think about it? So I thought, so I thought, yep. <laughs> Look at this color. I believe this is called ceramic gray. It's this beautiful, just flat gray. There's no metallic. And I was just told that this actually saves five kilos over a metallic color just because it is a glossy non-metallic spec. And I think it looks fantastic. Yes, it's gray, but it has this hint of blue to it next to lantana purple and that's chicane gray excellent timing that is gorgeous so this is lantana purple which we'll talk a lot more about well guys currently my spec for the 600 lt is Lantana purple. I have always wanted a purple car in my life, and I thought originally about doing Movine blue. Reason being, I drove that 570 GT during Goodwood, had that, and when they released the 600 LT, I thought, well, Movine blue would be an awesome color, but I thought it was a little bit too vibrant. This is essentially going to be my new daily driver, like the Huracan was. I thought this Lantana purple is absolutely stunning. So the question is, 
I've locked in all the rest of the spec items. I'll go over that, whether I got the roof scoop or the center seats and all that. But should I go with Lantana purple or this beautiful, beautiful gray? Or do I go with chicane gray? I can't keep a straight face. <laughs> We've got P1s coming over. What are you guys doing? Just uh, go to get some track, mate. Okay. It's our first test drive in a P1. Yeah, I've never driven one either, except for earlier. Yeah, see, if you pull on the doors and open those up, it gives you a little more space. I'm gonna open my, I'm gonna open my DRS. Where? I got it. It's you going. got the DRS? DRS button, How's it bro? going? It's good, I'm, look at me fly. <laughs> look at that color, oh my god. And look at these hooligans. Turning stress is not great, I'll be honest. It's not good. It's a bit of It's literally a handbrake. <laughs> Well, I think the Ceramic Gray 600 LT is a perfect car to go over the differences between this spec and mine because it shares a lot, listen to that, listen to that 600 LT. It shares a lot of similarities in spec. And we're gonna compare what you guys think of this car versus Lantana Purple, which is right there. Now, I love this and Chicane Gray. Maybe slightly a tiny bit more than Lantana. The issue is I'm getting that other car uh, in a light matte gray. So I don't wanna have two cars at the same color. I know this is a huge first world problem. It's really just a big struggle, but at the same time, I really don't wanna have two cars that look the same. So let's go over all of the options that I see present on this car and compare it to the spec that I got. So of course, 600 LT starts at 240,000 and then the options get unfortunately really crazy carbon all over the front of the car, which looks beautiful. Now let's do a little walk around. So of course, a mandatory option is these carbon exposed vents. Just like on the 675 LT, it makes it look so awesome and allows turbulent airflow in the wheel well to escape so that you have more aerodynamic efficiency. Next, that brings us to the side of the car where I've gotten very similar options as presented here. You can get this air vent here all in carbon fiber, which I have done, along with this beautiful carbon fiber side skirt. Let's take a look at this, shall we? So air travels along the side of the car down this area here and into the intake. Now, all of this I optioned in carbon fiber, which I think looks epic, along with this carbon fiber side skirt that says 600 LT on it. Now, taking a look at these wheels, there's two wheel options, there's a range of finishes. I have opted for these wheels in this all black finish. I think it looks purpose built, it looks ready for the track, and I love the way it looks. Coming around to the rear of the car, one of the best elements of the entire vehicle is that enormous rear diffuser. It's actually so large because of the positioning of the exhaust, because they were able to top mount the exhaust here, there's more room and less clutter with an exhaust to have a massive rear diffuser. So I've optioned that fully in carbon fiber. You can get the upper section in carbon fiber as well. The only difference between this car and mine in terms of carbon fiber options on the rear is that I've opted to go carbon fiber for the wing tips. Now, it's actually carbon fiber under here as well, but because of the exhaust temperatures, they had to put this coating on it to make sure that it doesn't catch fire. That's pretty cool, actually. Nice little carbon fiber touches here. We've got bespoke Trofeo R's that were built for the car. Of course, that is the only option, the correct option for tires on this thing. Let's go ahead and open it up. Now, I've gotten an option called the Club Sport Pack Pro. Carbon fiber roof. A cool thing about the carbon fiber roof is it gives you the option for the MSO roof scoop. I have opted for the roof scoop. It is... <laughs> It's going to be tremendous. Not only is it functional for a ram air intake effect, you also hear it. It creates an insane sound once you're inside the vehicle because the piping actually runs 
into the cabin itself and then into the engine bay. How cool is that? So now for the interior, there are a slew of options. You can get all of this in carpet or you can get partial carbon fiber or the full sill in exposed carbon fiber. I opted for the entire sill in carbon fiber. There's a bass sound system. I wanted the upgraded one because this will be my daily driver of sorts, as funny as that is. And then there are the optional Senna bucket seats, which in my eyes are not optional. They are mandatory. So I have opted for these buckets. Now you can get the carbon fiber buckets in multiple different colors. This is this beautiful burnt red that looks kind of like McLaren orange, but a little different. Now, if I were to get a gray color, I would totally go with this configuration in the interior. But because I'm getting purple as of now, I opted for one of the color options, which is a very, very dark blue. It's actually so dark blue that you almost think that it's black. The only way you can tell is the Alcantara juxtaposed against it has this little contrast that looks quite nice. Or you can go full Alcantara that just looks well, a little bit too much black. I've also opted for McLaren orange stitching. So on this car, it looks like we have either chicane gray or ceramic gray stitching here, but I've opted for McLaren orange stitching to give it a little bit more pop because I wasn't going for this colored interior. Now there are two main packages on the car. Club Sport Pack and Club Sport Pack Pro. The Pro Pack comes with a roll cage and harness. And I thought, you know what? I gotta get a car with a roll cage and a harness. So for the times that I wanna take this out on the track, I've got a six point harness that I can use to drive this on Thermal or Laguna Seca or Infineon or wherever I want to take it. And I wanna take it all over the world because this car truly deserves it. So I went for McLaren orange racing harness seat belts so that when I'm on the track, it just looks super ridiculous. Otherwise, they're gonna be black normal seat belts. So that is pretty much the entire summary of my 600LT spec. We're gonna go inside I've actually got to run and drive the 600 LT again. I said that as if it was a chore. I just, well, I can't tell you anything about it, but you'll learn about it soon. I'll go over the exact spec on the configurator in a second. conveniently placed configurator right here and I'm going to spec the car as close as I can to my actual spec. Now there are some limitations on the configurator. You can't do the roof scoop and a couple things, but let's get started. So this is just a basic colored one uh, with wheels that I'm not using. We don't have the fender vents. We don't have the carbon fiber roof uh, just as a start. So we'll go for the color first. Scroll down to Lantana purple. So I really love this. So I like that in certain lights, it starts to look deep blue, and then in other lights, it starts to look purple. So that's what I really like about Lantana Purple. Ceramic Gray is also another option. I know all of you are gonna go, you gotta go for the Ceramic Gray. It looks like Nardo Gray, it's a hype color. Uh, so maybe, potentially, we could recolor the other car, but then this one could be this. But let's go with the spec I currently have plugged in. So Lantana Purple. We'll go to the wheels here, so wheel style. I'm going with the 10-spoke ultra-lightweight forged wheels, which I think look track purpose. Now, wheel finish. I like gloss black. It just looks classy. Then, brake type. Well, carbon ceramics are standard. Caliper, I'm gonna go blue, because I think it just really pops with the purple. What do you guys think about that? Now, let's go to MSO Club Sport Pack Pro. Oh, they're not allowing me to do this on here, but the Club Sport Pack gives you carbon fiber roof. It gives you the Senna seats in the interior and a couple other options, which I have gotten. Now, carbon fiber upgrade one, two, they're already on here, three. So next we're gonna go to the front fender. This is just plain here. I really like the way it looks if we pop on those MSO vents. You gotta have these things, look at that. It just really differentiates the lines of the body. It makes it look a lot more like an LT. And it's functional too. You get all that turbulent airflow exiting so the car is more streamlined. It promotes downforce on the front of the car. Take a look at the front of the car. This thing looks so awesome. Just, you can just tell the aerodynamics in this. Everything is functional. 
Air hits the car, splits this way, that way, gets hugged along the body lines, and also cools the brakes and the intercores. Pretty freaking cool. The only thing that's different is, well, one, these are the basic seats, we won't be having those, and it has a roof scoop on it. Now, let's move on to interior trim. But essentially, it is gonna have a little, at the uh, 12 position, we're gonna have a McLaren orange. And then on the inside, with the purple car, it's gonna have really dark blue center seats. So I'll show you that uh, on another vehicle. But it's gonna have this contrast of Alcantara and the dark blue center seats. Now come along here. This is showing us the leather and kind of cloth vibe here for this. That's gonna be full carbon fiber there. I'm not sure if we can upgrade that or not. Seat style, seat type, sill finishers. Here we go. Extended carbon fiber, check that out. 600 LT, this looks like something that will scratch really easily, so we're gonna definitely have to put some sort of coating on it, whether it's Ceramic Pro or something like Expel Stealth. Another thing I'm doing, there's an option for the exterior carbon fiber to be in matte. The dry carbon fiber look is epic. Instead of spending, sorry, no offense, $7,000 on getting it as an option, I'm simply gonna do this and then wrap it in Expel Stealth so you get that matte look, but the entire thing is protected. Because I think the gloss carbon, it's beautiful, but it feels a little bit overdone. So we go for that dry carbon and it's just gonna look, I mean, just look at that booty. Look at that booty. Look at that booty. That is nice. Seat belts, uh, like I said before, I'm doing MSO, McLaren orange for the five point, six point, seven point, I'm not sure how many points, harness. Uh, the normal seat belts, I actually forgot. They're also gonna be McLaren orange because it goes really well with the car. Air conditioning, you know, some people are gonna say, it's a race car, you don't need air conditioning, you don't need radio, but you know what, I'm gonna use it as my daily driver, so we are gonna do air conditioning because it gets really hot in Southern California, and we're gonna do radio. Most of the time, I'll have the AC off, the windows down, the radio off to listen to that beautiful freaking 3.8 liter twin turbo V8 with 592 horsepower. And I know a lot of people are thinking, 592, that doesn't actually sound like that much, but it only weighs 1,247 kilograms, which is less than 2,800 pounds. So this thing is 100 kilos lighter, 220 pounds lighter than a GT2 RS. That's crazy. It also does zero to 124 miles an hour faster than a GT2 RS. This was another color in consideration, but it shows us what I'm talking about in terms of the seats. So this is the beautiful Alcantara, but if you look at the difference in color between this and here, now it's really hard to tell, these are actually really deep blue McLaren Senna seats, and they have the same McLaren orange stitching that I'm going to get as well. That looks absolutely incredible. So I'm curious what you guys think. Comment in the comments section below whether you think Lantana Purple with the dark blue interior and the orange contrasted stitching or Chicane Gray with the beautiful two-tone seats that are this burnt orange, burnt red color because I'm honestly at a loss for words. And I want you guys, because I don't care one way or the other, I think they're both epic options, I'd love for you guys to have some input into the car that's gonna be very prevalent on the channel. This literally is going to be my new supercar daily driver. Hello, sir. Yeah, I'm very excited for you. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank yeah. you very How's much. Spec looking? I know, it's looking spectacular. Marvel. It's looking spectacular, son. I don't have an exact delivery date. It was going to be late this year, but because of the Senna seats, there's a bit of a delay. The roof scoop takes some time as well, but early next year somewhere in the february range i will take delivery of this car and i cannot wait for that moment i hope you guys enjoyed this video like always please browse the channel and subscribe special thanks to mclaren for inviting me all the way out to hungary to drive this beast i look forward to seeing you next video